Well, 281, Trish. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Mike? 291. Well, chance. Five points here. Worth it. Let's go for it. 291. Um, 8 divided by 9 minus 7 is 4. 8? Over 9 minus 7. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is 4. Times yeah. 75? Uh, multiply? Sorry, yeah. By 75 is 300. Multiply by 75, yes. It's 300. And then take away the 8 and the 1. Yeah, take away the other 8, yeah. Yeah. And the 1, yeah. 2, uh, 9, 1. Yes, OK, well, he's got five points there. But he, could he have remotely got any, any better? I haven't got 281, but I'm trying, to, trying some uh, sort of clever, clever things and going up to 400 and back down again. But I could tell it was going to be difficult because if you subtract here, you're only getting 1s, you see. And then you're left with the ones. So there's not a lot you can do with it. It's a bit like those multiples the other day. A lot of playing to be done. Yeah. Would have been easier with a bigger target, perversely. You just like our racehorse trainer, aren't you, James Bethel? What an excuse for an not excuse. winning. Excuse. Yes. For every time the horse doesn't do anything, it's an excuse. Yeah. What was his last excuse? Oh, the horse coughed, or I mean, they did, I mean, it was a cough, or a cold, yeah. or a foot. Or, or there were other horses in the race. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, where are we? Oh, we're at the conundrum. So six, 63 and 97 is upon us. So let's have the uh, conundrum, please. If you're ready, lady and gentleman, please reveal today's countdown conundrum. Oh, that's the bell on two seconds this time. Two second man says... Chemistry. Chemistry. Well, is he set for his ten points? Yes, he is. Well, very good. So there he is. And another century. He's back on form and uh, had a good challenge from Trish. So for the fifth time, champion is Mike Brown. Well done, Mike. Well, bad luck, uh, <coughs> bad luck Trish. I'm in the habit of leading over to the person saying bad luck, bad luck. But he's a good Thank one, you. isn't he? Very good. He's a yes, good one. Very good. OK. Well, you're a happy smiling lady. It's great yeah. to have you. Thank you. And you've got the goodie bag and good luck to you in Thank everything you. you do. Thank you very much indeed to Trish Staples. <laughs> well, we've got uh, Neil Evans from Brom, from Birmingham. Hello, Neil. Hello there. Well, you had a two-second two, two conundrum to cope with. How did you get... Well, you got it? I got it about the same time. Did you? Good man. You got it before. Well, you he got says it before, says his before. friend next door, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a close thing. Yeah. Can you teach Vorderman a lesson? <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Neil, we'll see you tomorrow. Cheerful okay. chat there. So, goodbye to these two, uh, Magnus and Richard. I'd just say thank you very much to uh, our ladies. Carol, these, look, these are lovely expandable slippers, the WI I ladies. I see. They're made out of wool. And you just, no matter what size you are, your feet fit into them. They'd be good for the mayor of Wet Wang, though, if we got another two. <laughs> That'd be the latest excuse <laughs> yeah, that James they, Bethel could the say. The latest excuse she forgot to take her slippers off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him he'll come up. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much indeed. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. Till then, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>